right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today's mission is to catch and cook. Oh my goodness. Got a decent chop today. Not as bad as yesterday though. I attempted this yesterday. Caught some fish, just not the right fish. Here he is. Oh, it's our walleye. Change it up, but it is not the size we need. We need a little bit bigger. Actually, we need a little more than a little bit bigger. Today, we're gonna try to catch a crappie. Probably like three or four of them for breakfast here. And then we're gonna run up and cook them up on the islands, up river. First, let's grab the ACC and the PC Fun setups. And, ooh, there's some fish down there. Probably gotta record the live scope for you guys. <clears throat> All right, stumbled upon this little, oh, it's a, like a big, I don't know what that is. Some sort of rock pile, but there's a ton of fish on it. So we'll see if we can get one of these guys to bite. They look like they're either crappie or bluegill. I don't know, we'll see. This wind is gonna suck. Oh, there he is. There he is. I don't know what you are. Oh, it's a crappie, yes. We got ourselves the crappie that we wanted. Took about two hours to find him, but that is a good eater right there. That is a good eater. Yes, sir. Going in the live well, let's throw them on the bump board because I know you guys ask how long these fish are. I'm gonna guess he's close to 11. It's gotta be close to 11. Oh yeah, there you go. 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter going in the box. Crappie number one, let's catch about three three more because I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. I actually have this thing marked as a big old rock pile. For whatever reason, I, I've been able to find timber and brush and stuff in about this same depth, but I haven't find, found schools like this on any of those pieces of timber. For whatever reason, they're sitting here. I don't care as long as they're biting. Seems like that lighter jig for some reason, probably the fall rate there. Oh, yep, right there. Didn't even, oh wow, this is a good one. This is a good fish. Here's some quality fish down there, holy smokes. That's another 11 plus. I think that slower fall rate is, uh, what was key I tried to go an upsize with some of those other crappie that I found on those brush piles but they would not hit a 3 16th ounce jig I had to go down to a 1 16th might be able to get away with an eighth but some of their solid fish for the live well you're gonna taste pretty good there bud they're just stacked out in front of me here Look at them all. I'm pretty sure all those are either crappie or bluegill. The bigger fish on the bottom are probably walleye bass or catfish or something. But just letting this thing fall and I can actually, even in the wind, I can actually feel that little tap as it gets close to them. One thing about river crappie whether it's on a reservoir or just a regular river system like Mondaday, typically they're gonna be bigger, just overall. It's a lot more water they can roam. They probably have better schools of bait fish or healthier schools of bait fish in the, in the system than just a, a natural lake. Come on, buddy, get down there. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, there I am. There he is. There he is. Got him on the live scope too, yep. Another good eater. Ooh, came flying out of there. He's not as big, but he'll he'll eat good. Oh. I 
He's bleeding already anyway. It's okay, you're going in the live well. Let's see if we can catch one more and then we'll run up, cook ourselves some uh, brunch slash lunch maybe. I don't know what we're gonna call it. It's pretty late in the morning. Here comes a fish. Yep. That feels like a keeper. He's borderline, but I'm gonna keep him. And he's probably only, yeah, he might be nine, but I'm gonna keep him anyway. There's our last fish. Let's go run up river to some islands and uh, cook up some brunch. Well, we made it onto the island here, or the shore, I guess. Nice, cool bluff behind me to shade me from this heat. My goodness, it's like 95 degrees outside. Let's see, we'll find a level area for this thing. That should work right about there. Let's cut these fish up. Now that we got uh, fish cut up, we're gonna start heating up this pan and getting the fillets ready to be mixed up in some nice Louisiana Cajun fish seasoning. The good stuff. Louis Ooh, Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Good old fashioned short lunch. Not the short lunch brand, Louisiana brand. Golden Krispies. Well, there you have it. Nice, crispy. Riverside fresh caught crappie. I'm gonna have this, uh, well, it's probably lunchtime now, but it was originally gonna be breakfast, then brunch, now, now lunchtime. So I'm gonna have some of this. Appreciate you watching as always. Uh, let me know if you got any uh, shore recipes that you want me to try out this summer. And uh, yeah, post that down in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. I always appreciate you watching. I'm gonna eat this and then get out of here because it is like 95 degrees outside. Holy smokes. It's like 85 in the shade. Summer came quick this year. Appreciate you watching. We'll see ya.